Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Excel Club and welcome to the future of Excel part two. This is the second in a three part series where we will demonstrate the Excel power tools, power pivot, power query and power view. In the previous video, we had a demonstration of power pivot and how power pivot can be used to overcome some of the limitations of standard pivot tables. In this demonstration, we're going to look at Power Query, which is also known as Get and Transform Data. Now, this demonstration is a VBA macros killer. We're going to walk through a complex transformation using Power Query that previously would require a macro to store the steps. And we're going to use this transformation to create a dashboard that can be updated with the click of a button. Now, if you're watching this video on YouTube, there is a link below the video to the blog post where you will find part one and part three of this series and a little bit more detail about the future of Excel and Excel Power Tools. So let's hop over into Excel now and have a look at this demonstration. We're back in a blank workbook for this example. And what I'm gonna show you in this example is Power Query. And Power Query was the second tool introduced in the Power Tools. And in Excel 2016, it's known as Get and Transform Data. Now, Power Query, as I mentioned, will allow you to get data from multiple sources. So you can get data from the web, from files, from databases, from a whole heap of different places. And you can also get, get it from files and you can get it from folders. Now, what I'm going to show you in this is how you can combine a folder of CSV files, transform the data in them CSV files to a usable format, and then store that query so that you can update it whenever you have new data. Now, let's have a look at our sample data. And we have a folder of data. And in this folder, we've got store one, week one, store one, week two, store two, week one. And each data, each CSV file is emailed to you on a weekly basis by the different stores. Very common situation for accountants. And it basically gives us our products sold, the units and the sales. It's just that simple. And it comes to you like that every week, as I said. Now, what we want to do is we want to take that entire folder and we want to combine all the data in them folders into just one. So we can use Power Query and From File and From Folder. And what it wants now is the folder path. Now you can browse for your folder path, but I know where mine is. I'm just gonna paste it in here and select OK. Now when we select OK, we're given some a preview of what we can see. And what we're gonna select is edit. Now when you select edit, what happens is you're brought into a new window and this is your Power Query window. And you get a preview of the data in here and it's really drag and drop. Now there is a query language used behind it, but you don't need to know the query language. And all of the steps that you take in transforming your data are recorded over here. So you can go back and delete steps as need be. So let me show you how it works. So we have our folder of data and we brought it in and it, we have some content binaries. Now, if we press these little double arrows, it's going to evaluate the query or evaluate the files and give you a sample of how they can be combined. Now it's going to base it on the first file and the first 200 rows. And I'm just going to say OK, because I know it looks fairly OK. And it's going to merge these files together. So now what we have is we have our applied steps have now updated. And we can see each of the steps there, but we don't need to do anything with them because they've automatically happened for us. What we need to do now is transform this data into a usable format. So the first thing we'll do if we press this little arrow here is we will use the first row as headers. So now we've given units and sales as the headers. We can give this column a name by saying rename and call it product. And now we have a products column as well. Now, in addition to this, we have our store and our week, and we can transform this as well to make it more usable. What we can do is we can split the, com the column and we can split it by delimiter. And these are all just transformation steps. I'm gonna say okay, and it'll split the, 
column for us. Now I can rename this first column to store and I can rename the second column and I can rename the second column to week. Now there's still some data in there that's not great so I'm going to do some replace values and I'm going to say dot CSV and I'm going to replace with nothing. And that's now removed the dot CSV. Now there's still one small problem with this data set and that's the this row here that has the headers from each of the tables. But we can see that there is a blank one. So if we unselect the blank one, we now have a table that's in a usable format. Now all we have to do, if we go to File, we can say Close and Load or Close and Load to. Now if you select Close and Load, it'll load it as a table into Excel. Close and Load to will load it into Power Pivot and allow you to do We'll load it into Power Pivot model and allow you to pivot it. Let's just close it and load it into a table in Excel. And we can see it quickly transforms all of the data and brings all of your stores, sales per week, per product into your table. Now, okay, that did take a couple of minutes, but it's really, really worth doing because once you've set it up once and you save your file, you have that file there now forever. And basically when you come along and you are on the next week and the next store emails you a file, all you have to do is add it to your folder. Now when we refresh the data, it's going to update the queries and it's going to pull in store to week two. Now this is a real VBA macro killer because the transformations that we looked at in the query, let's go back to our query editor. All of the steps that we done, we could record as a macro. We could do copy, paste, paste, remove rows and do all this and record it by a VBA macro. And then when you get your new worksheet the next month, you can then run the macro on the workbook. But this is just so much simpler. There's no need to learn coding. It's all drag and drop. And your query is there now. All you have to do is save your workbook and then update your folder with additional data. What we looked at here in this demonstration was just one use of Power Query or Get and Transform data. You can get data from multiple sources, as I said earlier on. And there's many, many more transformation steps that you can make on data to get it into a usable format before you load it into Excel or into Power Pivot for further analysis. There's quite a lot that you can learn about Power Query and get and transform data. But this was just a demonstration. Next week, we will have our final demonstration and it's going to be on Power View. And in that demonstration, we'll set up a chart and see how visualizations can be used for data exploration and to re reveal insights about your business. Again, if you are watching this video on YouTube, there is a link below that will bring you back to the blog post that referenced this. And you'll find an awful lot more details about the Power Tools in the blog post. So do head over and do check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you in the third demonstration when we're looking at PowerView.